was good, guys. It's your boy Psycho back at it again with another episode of Monkey Bros. What? Ooh, let's get to it. Oh. So, I know he's dead. Is is this android heaven? Do all androids go to heaven? Or well, what's going on here? Um. Okay. Hi, birdies. Tweet, tweet. Uh, I see someone over there. I think. Yeah, I think that's this Amanda girl. Uh, so we will go over yonder. Over Splander. We were home. Hello. Are you another android? Are you God? That's Android God. Oh. Hello, Amanda. Oh, oh it's Morgan Freeman as a female. <laughs> Oh, it's, it's God. It's God. Your predecessor was unfortunately destroyed. It knew deviance could be unpredictable, but it wasn't careful enough. Shit. I hope you won't make the same mistake. I don't intend to. When a Connor model is destroyed, its memory is okay, transferred. Okay, so I don't think she's an android. But some data can be lost in the process. Avoid being destroyed. It would be better for you and the investigation. I understand. The interrogation seemed challenging. What did you think of the deviant? It showed signs of PTSD after being abused by its owner. As if its original program had been completely replaced by new instructions. This Lieutenant Anderson has been officially assigned to the deviancy case. What do you make of him? He's a dick. But he's a cool dick. I think he's irritable and socially challenged. But I also think he used to be a good detective. He's an intriguing character. Unfortunately, we have no choice but to work with him. What do you think is the best approach? I'll just adapt. I will adapt to his personality. I am the world's it is second, in the best interest third of the investigation greatest that android. I avoid conflict and try to accommodate his psychology. More and more androids show signs of deviancy. There are millions in circulation. If they become unstable, the consequences will be disastrous. You're the most advanced prototype Cyberlife has ever created. If anyone can figure out what's happening, it's you. You can count on me, Amanda. Pick up the investigation where the previous Connor left off and put a stop to this. Hurry, Connor. There's little time. Aye, aye, Captain. Lieutenant Anderson. Okay. Um. Ah, hiccups. Can I help you? I'm here to see Lieutenant yeah, Anderson. Where is he? Do you have authorization? Bitch. Yes. Oh, she's an android too. Lieutenant Anderson hasn't arrived yet, but you can wait at his desk. Yo, Detroit must have some bomb-ass Wi-Fi. Like, hold up. Oh, <laughs> Bruh. That's a lot of fucking desks. I don't give a fuck about Police Officer Miller. I don't give a fuck about Detective Reed. I don't give a fuck about P.O. Brown. I don't give a fuck about Police Officer Pearson. Or Person. Or whatever, son. Hey, lit. Found him. But where is he? 
Excuse me. Do you know what time Lieutenant Anderson usually arrives? Depends on where he was the night before. If we're lucky, we'll see him before noon. Thanks. I really have to wait for him. All right. I guess. You and you come with me. Look how he sits, all proper and shit. Fucking dork. Got the good music lit. That's a donut. Cold coffee. It's the best kind of coffee. Coffee. It's the best kind of coffee. How's my driving? Okay. Scanning, scanning all the shit, scanning all the shit. What's that? Matches? Oh, we already know he smokes. Oh, what's this? Hooker. Oh, it's a dog. Oh shit, we already knew this. Hey, there's the old Hello, bastard. Man. My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. God, I saw you get shot in the head last night. My predecessor was unfortunately destroyed. But Cyberlife transferred its memory and sent me to replace it. This incident should not affect the investigation. That's creepy. Oh, Jesus. Hank! In my office! Hank? Nice office, Mac. I've got ten new cases involving androids on my desk every day. We've always had isolated incidents. Old ladies losing their android mage and that kind of crap. But now, we're getting reports of assaults and even homicide, like that guy last night. This isn't just Cyberlife's problem anymore. It's now a criminal investigation, and we've got to deal with it before the shit hits the fan. I want you to investigate these cases and see if there's any link. Why me? Why do I gotta be the one to deal with this shit? I am the least qualified cop in the country to handle this case. But I know jack shit about androids, Jeffrey. I can barely change the settings on my own phone. Everybody's overloaded. I think you're perfectly qualified for this type of investigation. Bullshit! The truth is, nobody wants to investigate these fucking androids, and you let me hold in the bag. Cyberlife sent over this android to help with the investigation. It's a state-of-the-art prototype. It'll act as your partner. No fucking way. I don't need a partner, and I certainly not this plastic like prick. That. Hank, That'd you are lit. seriously starting to piss me off. You are a police lieutenant. You are supposed to do what I say and shut your goddamn mouth. You know what my goddamn mouth has to say to you? Okay. Huh? Okay. I'll pretend like I didn't hear that. So I don't have to add any more pages to your disciplinary folder, because it already looks like a fucking novel. This conversation is over. Jeffrey, Jesus Christ, why are you doing this to me? You know how much I hate these fucking things. Why are you doing this to me? Listen, I've had just about enough of your bitch. Either you do your job or you hand in your badge. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got work to do. Shit. 
Oh, I should probably just leave. Nope. I'm very pleased to have joined the team. I can assure you I'll do my very Close best. Close the door on your way out. Damn. Have a nice day, Captain. Asshole. I get the impression my presence causes you some inconvenience, Lieutenant. I'd like you to know I'm very sorry about that. Now that we're partners, it would be great to get to know each other better. Boy. In any case, I'd like you to know I'm very happy to be working with you. I'm sure we'll make a great team. Is there a desk anywhere I could use? No one's using that one. <clears throat> what? There was a desk there? Talk about your personal life that I intruded into. Hmm. Basketball. You're a Detroit Gears fan, right? Denton Carter scored 53% of his shots from the three point line yesterday. Did you see the game? That's what I was watching at the bar last night. <laughs> Whoops. Oh. <laughs> Fuck. My bad. Do you listen to Knights of the Black Death? I really like that music. It's full of energy. I'm so full of shit right now. Metal? <laughs> well, I don't really listen to music as such, but I'd like to. He looks like, yo, Lieutenant looks like you he's fucking dog, sick of me. Right? How do you know that? The dog hairs on your chair. I like dogs. What's your dog's name? What's it to you? Sumo. I call him Sumo. Um. Have you known Captain Fowler for long? Yeah. Too long. I should probably, like, stop prying and start working. But, fuck it. Hmm. I was wondering, do you always arrive at the office at this hey. time? Take a look at I arrive when I arrive. Stop busting my balls, okay? Shit, my bad. If you have any files on deviants, I'd like to take a look at them. We really need the forensics. Terminals on your desk. Knock yourself out. What an asshole. What the fuck? Hey, 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 hold up. What? Two hundred and forty three files. He scanned all those fucking Our files that quickly? God damn. It all started in Detroit and Listen. quickly spread across the country. An AX four hundred is reported to have assaulted a man last night. That could be a good starting point for our investigation. Silly. Of course I want to see you. Baby, listen, I can't talk right now. I'm in the office. Boy, let's go. I understand you're facing personal issues, Lieutenant. But you need to move past them. And hey, don't talk to me. Like you know me. I'm not your friend, and I don't need your advice, okay? Nah, we about to get aggressive with this guy.
I've been assigned this mission, Lieutenant. I didn't come here to wait until you feel like working. Oh! Listen, asshole. If it was up to me, I'd throw the lot of you in a dumpster and set a match to it. So stop pissing me off. Oh, things are shit. Nasty. Lieutenant? Uh, sorry to disturb you. I have some information on the AX-400 that attacked the guy last night. It's been seen in the Ravendale district. I'm on it. Let's go, boy. Oh, now, now you want to work and shit, fucking asshole. Asshole. Let's go. Let's go do our job, boy. This guy was an asshole. Jesus, Jesus, this shit's taking a lot of load, this needs to, oh, hello, wait, wait, there was a fucking motel in the area, boy, that is some bullshit, how did I not notice that, some bullshit, That's bullshit. I wonder what this guy is fucking doing. What was his name? Ralph? What the fuck? What is Ralph doing? I thought he was like gonna try to kill us and fucking in the middle of the night. I thought we were gonna have to fucking fight. That we were gonna fight. Like, whoa! Hey, it's a lion. See, again, does anyone actually take the time to read all that shit? That's a whole fucking article, boy. Like, I'm glad they put great detail into this game, but, bruh, nobody cares about Canada. Except for Canada. Canada. Canadians come from Canada. Hi, <laughs> hi. Let's fucking do this shit. Let's do this shit. What am I doing again? What the fuck? This is creepy. What the fuck? Is that a real bird? No, it's a dead bird. Okay. I'm fucking taking this money. What the fuck does he need it for? I have a child to support. What is his watch? Is it a Roly? 
This shit dumb broken. Fuck out of here. Fuck yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm gonna go upstairs. Oh, I am self aware. Hello. My name is Kiara. I need to change my clothes because this shit's kind of. Oh, I'm is fucking filthy. What are we doing? What are we doing? Um. Um. There should be clothes in here. But where? Oh. Well then. So there's only a jacket. Okay, I guess we can consider that clothes. I guess. I guess. Now what? Now what am I doing? What does that say? Toy boy? Hey yo. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm gonna let that little girl sleep. Um. I guess I'm going back upstairs. Up the stairs I go. Okay, up the stairs I go. What am I supposed to do? What am I even doing? Oh. Um. It's fucking me. Oh! I'm gonna take the scissors, and what am I gonna do? Cut. Um. Excuse me? Self harm is not the way. Oh! Her hair! Oh. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Shit, okay, Miss Zuko. Let's fucking do it. Oh, hello. Okay, now what? I can change the color! Let's see what blonde looks like. Wow, that's so cool. Okay, white. Wow, that looks pretty cool. Let's see how black looks. Um, black is nice, but I'm gonna go with white. Just because it has a nice silver effect. Like, it's not even white, it's silver. Oh shit, she's gonna remove her thing too. Um, oh. So it's pretty much like a sticker or a magnet, the free will magnet. Hey, now we get to go wake up the little girl like you're, uh oh, uh oh, it's the five oh. Oh, wow, That's that was uh, pretty bad. 
We've got officers sweeping the neighborhood in case anybody saw anything. Okay, well, let me know if they turn anything up. What are you gonna do with that? I have no idea. It took the first bus that came along and stayed at the end of the line. Its decision wasn't planned. It was driven by fear. Androids don't feel fear. Deviants do. They get overwhelmed by their emotions and make irrational That's crazy. Decisions. Androids have emotions and shit. All right, well, that still doesn't tell us where it went. It didn't have a plan, and it had nowhere to go. Maybe it didn't go far. Maybe. <laughs> Ralph found this to feed the little girl. <laughs> it's good for her. A present. To make up for past misunderstandings. The fuck? Ralph will cook. We will do just like humans do. Humans like burnt meat. Come. Come and sit down. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm not gonna be rude. <laughs> That's better. <laughs> Ralph went to a lot of trouble to find something for the little girl to eat. Wouldn't be polite for her to refuse, would it? Nah, you right, you right. <laughs> but you're not gonna. Oh, okay. Be great. <laughs> succulent, you'll see. Succulent. Succulent. It's gonna be moist. <laughs> Father, mother, little girl. Please, Car. I don't want to eat that. What did she say? <laughs> Fucking lie. She said she can't wait to eat it. She's very hungry. The little human is not going to regret it. Yeah, that small was kind of creepy. Found the best, the biggest one he could find. <laughs> this is going to be. Bro, such he a is the one who fucking. <laughs> That's the same guy, bro. That's the same trash guy. I'm telling you. Go ahead. Eat Unless they all look the same. We're going to stand up now, and we're going to leave. So wait, what was the unlocked one? No, you're not going to leave. Not until Ralph says so. You said you I'm not trying to get like this family. little girl killed, y'all. Ralph? Father? Mother? The little girl, remember? father would never threaten his little girl with a knife to make her eat. Ralph went to a lot of trouble. Mm -hmm. That's why. He just wanted the little girl to eat. But Ralph was not bad. No, not bad. Then let us go. Anybody home? Oh, no. There's blue blood on the fence. I know another android was here. I see you.
Don't be afraid. I'm not going to hurt you. I'm looking for an AX-400. Have you seen it? Ralph's seen nobody. There's blue blood on the fence. I know another android was here. Ralph scratched himself coming through. So, am I not going to question that there's a badly there injured android just okay. chilling in an abandoned house? No. Like, y'all want to talk about deviants, shouldn't someone get him off the streets? Maybe bring him back to mom manufacturing? See, yeah, he is. They must be the same. Like the same job workers or something. They probably just look the same. They're probably just crystal gems or some shit. Or homeworld gems. Do I even get that reference? Whatever. What else am I looking for? This guy is fucking bugged out. Okay, but why can't I do anything with this goddamn game? Something about this seems fishy. <sighs> fishy, 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 fishy. Fishy, glub glub. Is anyone upstairs? No. Nobody. So they're upstairs. Okay, but it's not letting me go upstairs. What the fuck? They're upstairs. Gotta be missing something. Already looked at that shit like a thousand fucking times, bro.
This is starting to aggravate me. They're upstairs, bruh. They're upstairs. Why won't it let me go upstairs? Come on. Go. Go. Okay. I guess I guess I just can't go past the first step. That's cool. Fine, I'll leave. They're safe for another day. Hey, Lieutenant, how are you? Connor, what the fuck are you doing? Did you find something? No. No, it's not here. Yeah, just like I said in the first place. Come on, let's get out of here. Not even a buy, a thanks for having us. What the fuck? Wow. Wow. They weren't upstairs, they were under the fucking stairs. Protect the little girl. The humans must not find her. Yo, shit's about to get real, fam. Next time on Monkey Bros, what? Fucking shit hits the fan. We hide and we run and we we need to see what's up with Marcus, boy. Like this is crazy. Shit, it's getting lit now. All right, guys. Next time on Monkey Bros, what? Like, share, and subscribe. Yeah, guys. Deuces.